time this evening we are underway and Jared Burns opening up with some strong leg kicks yeah this is going to be an excellent fight uh, this is uh, Jared Burns I always talk about how like little he is like how many little years he's been training but he's just a phenomenal athlete and he picks up the game so well uh, but he's he's got his work cut out for him tonight here because Moraru is an unbelievable striker yeah Moraru as well he only fighting a year he went 5-1 and one in amateur in that year and looked amazing on the feet yeah, he's, his kicks are just incredible, and they're very unorthodox as well. Yeah, that, that first round TKO win with the jumping switch kick he got in this cage against Jimmy Dolan was just out of this world. Yeah. That's a, a friend and training partner at Jared Burns, so maybe there's a wee bit that he's out to get a bit of revenge here as well. But he's done very well to put Murari up against the cage and secure the takedown. Murari doing the right stuff here, trying to get that leg free to get back up. Jared Burns not giving him any room at all here on top, looking to take the back. And one thing I will say from training with Jared Burns, he's a back take specialist. And he won his professional debut against Robbie Brown in this cage by rear naked choke. Uh, got a guillotine finish last time out. Cage conflict eight over Nuruddin Hazrat to claim the interim belt. Now he of course isn't eligible to win the belt tonight because he missed weight unfortunately. So only Moraru is eligible to win the belt. I was actually very surprised at that there. It'd be interesting to talk to Jared to understand what happened because Jared's very professional. Um, it, it's not it's not like him to, to, do, to do something like it. So maybe there was something happened during the week, you know. These things happen. We learn these lessons early in the pro game because when we're fighting for titles later on in the career. That extra the pound when you're fighting for a title is, yeah. you know, you got to be bang on the 125 on the money. So Jared breaks off here, throwing some nice strikes, putting Morario back up against the cage. Beck Larkin getting in on the action there as well. Yeah, Moraru is very, very quick. And uh, Burns not phased at all, willing to stand and engage. Yeah, he looks very comfortable in the feet tonight, you know, throwing nice straight shots. Running in a wee bit there. Moraru took an opportunity to hit a check hook. Yeah, Moraru is a highly decorated striker. He's won multiple national titles in Moldova, Romania, Ukraine, in both taekwondo and kickboxing. Yeah, I will say his hands aren't as tidy as his kicks. His yeah. kicks are his real weapon. But with, and you can see with his hands, you know, they're, they're not as kind of like you know polished as what his kicks are, but just dangerous nonetheless. Yeah, we thought about the axe kick there. It's a weapon we've seen him use a yeah. few times over his amateur career. 
Burns just closed the distance. We're back in here, probably looking for an ankle pick. He's got to get that head underneath the knee. Oh, big elbows. The elbows, of course, now in the pro game. So, Moraru making his pro debut. That's a new weapon he can add to his arsenal. He didn't hesitate throwing them. It's a very evenly contested fight here. Both guys, they look like they know exactly what they're doing. Each position, they look calm, cool, composed. And that's what you like to see. You want to see guys fighting uh, in like even competition at this stage of their career. You don't want to be getting handy fights yeah, you know, for the first five, six, seven fights, and then you get on the big show and you're lost. Yeah. So you want to have these challenges. Have puzzles on, to, fit, to solve. Yeah, exactly, yeah. and to solve them. Um, and this is just a great fight for both guys. Lillard Burton one to the back of the head, an apology to the referee, and the show goes on. Yeah. No damage caused, but both guys just each other. Just break off here. Both guys having success out in the feet. Yeah, it's been an interesting one so far. Burns throwing nice straight shots. Moraru's just kind of waiting for him to come in, and then Ooh, there's, there's that, that switch. switch kick. Ooh. How fast he throws those kicks, it's so impressive. Yeah, no setup, no back lift, just pop out yeah. there. He got a bit wild on the back foot, you can't afford to get wild on the back foot. Burns just stayed with it, came underneath, in on the hips, and now he's here looking to take the back with one hook. Better and move. He, he knew where the danger was. He knew he didn't. He couldn't let Burns get that second hook, so he peeled off with the heel. Didn't even let him get it in. Yeah. Very aware of the situation here. That's something you like to see in, in, in fighters: is being aware in the kind of chaos. Shakes off Burns very well because, as you said, Burns already has a rear naked choke victory as well as a guillotine victory. He's a dangerous man when he gets your neck, and Moraru just kept calm and did all the right things. Yeah. And we know Morao is a good striker, but he's coming from a gym that are known for the wrestling, so mm. I'm sure he's picked up a few things. Well, his, his switch kick win here over Jimmy Nolan actually came from him initiating the, the grappling. He took Jimmy Nolan down when Jimmy Nolan broke away, and Morao popped up to the feet and just went straight at yeah. him with the switch kick. So, that. you know, he's not just a Taekwondo stylist. Yeah. He, he is a, a, an effective mixed martial artist. Some of the names he's beaten in his amateur career, I mean, he's uh, he, he's got five, picked up five great wins in a row, and... Uh, you know, he got, uh, he's fought in this cage before, of course, he has a win over Jake Wallace in cage conflict yeah. seven. This is his third consecutive uh, venture out on cage conflict, you know, so he really is a dangerous guy when he gets a hold of that neck. You know, and, and Burns actually, you talk about guys here having their first fights in cage conflict one. Jared Burns had never stepped foot in, a, in, a, in an MMA gym, and he came to one of these cage conflict shows and was like, I'm going to do a beginner MMA course. Wow. And now how many times has he headlined it? Yeah, exactly, yeah, he's, he's just it's, the show it's a phenomenal the story. Oh, nice little kick. Yeah, that, the body, that, that kick switch. just landed right to the body. He's never shot that. It kind of looked like it took the wind out a bit of Jared. Yeah. But you know how this feels, Joe, when those toes hit you in the midriff. It's, it's, it's not nice. And you can't hide it either. You cannot hide it. I'm currently sporting a couple of nice sore spots right there on the upper abdomen from the very same. Young Sean Brazel for that, but uh, the show uh, carries on here, and Burns is looking to get that ankle pick. Yeah, he keeps going back to this ankle pick. Didn't have it there, but now he's kind of coming back up to the hips. We've seen a lot of it tonight, actually, that ankle pick, where you're diving in nice and low and just pulling that yeah. foot out from underneath. Yeah, it's really effective, um, especially when guys are really good at defending. Uh, they hold the kind of split stance out, so the hips are really strong. If they can't get the hips, get the ankle. was a, a lovely kind of switch out there from Morau. Yeah, a little shrug of the shoulder to create that separation. And he just needed to break off and, and create distance because Jared just got right back in again. But now Morau's turned Burns around and connecting the hands. He's got the, he's got the hips, he's got the hands connected. Let's see if he can finish this. Not going into this. Big, big elbows. Big elbows. Oh. Big elbows. Good war not to grab the fence. Oh, so he, you know, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. Big knee by Moreau. Yeah. Oh, another big knee. These are, these are so he's close, there. these rounds. Both guys are landing impactful strikes and putting it on each other and making each other really work for these takedown attempts. 
big knees. He's a like sore Those are really impactful, knee. aren't they? He's very crafty, isn't yeah. he? You know, he's finding these wee opportunities that you probably wouldn't think are there. Yeah. I've really enjoyed it. I, have to say, like I said, I've probably already watching him over the last while. I think I've commentated on most of his fights. Yeah. He's a very exciting fighter to watch. Just interesting. Yeah, yeah. Two young prospects. Oh, that body kick. Jordan needs to keep that body protected. As he's putting the pressure on, backing Murray up. With some nice straight shots. Oh, oh, oh the big axe kick. He might pay for it though, because Burns capitalised well. Very good balance from him. Oh, he's had a wee giggle there. Looks like he's enjoying this fight as much as we are. Oh, beautiful elbow on the break from Burns. Yeah, Moraru switched off half a second there. And oh, unbelievable take down there. Awfully difficult to get on experienced guys with good balance, which Moraru is. Very impressive. And it actually looks like, I don't know if that's Moraru who's got the cut. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it was dripping onto his shoulder when they were on the feet. It actually. Oh, the back. Wow, straight to the back is Burns. That was a quick transition. I didn't even see it. That's unbelievable. Like, yeah. Just right. Slid right in there seamlessly and one arm around the neck. Muraru attacking the second hand. I actually think it's Burns that's cut. It is actually no, a cut. Well, thing. actually, I don't know because I just saw drips coming from Muraru's head. It might be a cut to the top of the head from the elbows that Burns was throwing earlier in the round. There's blood everywhere in there. It's on the feet of, uh, I think that's Burns' foot. Yeah. And do you know what blood it's on the neck and he's squeezing he's getting hip neck. extension here this could be it Moraru climbing the cage to try and create some space it's that's not, just on the chin it's not on the chin yeah, you can still finish it from there but it's difficult and of course we saw with the Stanka brothers these uh, phantom guys know how to defend oh. rear naked chokes yeah this is, and it's going to be well this blood is going to be it's difficult slippy. oh yeah. there's a lot of blood here there is a lot of blood and again I still don't know who it is from yeah they're both Mariah's covered in it Mariah's looking here to well they get this the ref is going to call time and we're going to have the doctor in to check and I think it's Burns is he looking at Burns it is it's a cut above the right eye of Burns well spotted or maybe is it Moraru yeah I think it's mostly Burns <laughs> change your mind there again <laughs> yeah that's that's a whole lot of blood yeah you know he's checking Moraru somewhere on the head it's in the head and just not above the eye pretty routine hoping it would be okay to carry on but it's pretty slippy. I, I mean, that's the thing. Like you, that's getting the cut on the top of the head. You're not. Gonna, the fight isn't going to be stopped there. But what it does, it creates this kind of different circumstance around scrambles, grappling exchanges, because there's a lot of blood. You know, you're able to slip into positions, slip out of positions. You know, it just makes it just changes things a bit. Well, we just saw it there with the back control. Moraru was able to spin probably a little yeah. easier than he may have been if the blood wasn't there. Oh, 100. And then they were just chasing each other across the mat and not able to scramble to their feet. So. Was not there happy enough? It would have been a very disappointing end because this has been a brilliant fight. <laughs> Wiping the blood out of his eyes to continue. I don't know what's going on here. What was? I think he's just Burns wasn't happy with something, but yeah. he needs to keep focused on the fight here. He was saying he wanted the position back, but I don't think he had an established position he because they were so position. slippy. They were. They were just sliding around on the floor a little. Coming in, he's coming in with these shots, but he needs to set them up a wee bit better. Now he's in at the hips. He's going to get the chance to connect the two hands or drop for the single. I think he's electing to chase that single for now. now he needs to watch his neck here. Yeah, it looks to be gripping around. Probably not threatening too much, just letting him know it's there. Yeah. Burns actually looking to come up with the body lock. Yeah, now he's connected the hands. Like we've got a great view of it here. Yeah, he's going to shift. We're about to get a shower as well. But wow, two strong rounds in the two, books. Two strong rounds. I have no idea where the scorecards are lying on this one, and no. nor do I care at the moment. I yeah. think I'm just really enjoying these rounds. Yeah. And hit the back. Moraru's um, been landing those kicks to the body exactly. probably a little more. So they're very damaging shots. So they were very accurate shots. Yeah, sure. Fascinating bout so far. Moraru's ready to go. So is Burns. Paul Hughes over in the corner there, shouting at something that the referee. I don't know what he's complaining about. He's looking at us now. Here we go. One cage warriors world champ to another, but uh, let's focus back on this action. Burn 
Williams taking the center of the cage here. I, I honestly think those kicks are hurting Burns. He's keeping his arms low. Yeah. And that, oh, I was about to say, that can to leave the, the gaps up top. Burns is as tough as they come. And your elbows start just tightening into the body. Your chin becomes exposed, so... He spun slightly to the back here, and he's got one hook. Straight onto the back. That was a good opening round for Morari. He got some nice strikes there. He, he certainly has the respect on the feet of Burns. But the Burns here. The arm could be in danger on the way out here. Morari's trying to shake him off, but yeah, I think he's doing well to shake him off now. What's, uh, he's got the arm free. He's, he showed some really strong grappling here for a, a quote-unquote striker. Yeah. He's, uh, he hasn't been found wanting when they've hit the floor. Now Morari is on top. I want to see what he can do from this half court position. Which, as you know, is fairly dominant. You know, posture up, throw some strikes. Elbows are uh, a dangerous prospect in this position. Burns looking to get an underhook and wrestle back up. He's not Let's happy see. with his bottom position. And post elbow, beautiful work by Moraru, and another little club and short ones to the side of the ear. A beautifully effective shot. Use his head position now just to pin Burns a little. Burns trying to turn and scramble. We're going to see Moraru get to the back. Yeah, now Moraru's trying to you know, attack the back here. It's Lovely work. Sensational work from both fighters. He's just getting was that he little the chin, was he? face. Yeah, just grinding across the face. Just a little face bar. And just making him miserable, really, for Burns here. And, and staying heavy down on his back as well, which is, you know, yourself, it cuts your breathing down. Your breathing capacity, your lung capacity gets a little diminished when you're compressed like that. Now Burns is kind of like, he's very compact here, he's not given any openings for the hooks, but in doing that, he's kind of just sitting there getting punched. Sometimes, you know, it's better to kind of put yourself more vulnerable to, to allow yourself to transition to yeah. a better position. Try and create a little scramble. Burns back up this feet, but Mariah just on him. Mariah's very really uh, pushing heavy. the pace in round three, isn't he? He really is. And you gotta wonder how bad was that cut for Burns? I know he didn't make weight, but did he? You know, must have been a struggle to get down there. Of course, yeah. Is it starting to take a bit of an effect on him now? You know, like in the, in, in the later rounds, that's the price you pay for for you know having a hard few days in the sauna, in the hot bath, whatever it is. Oh, it comes back to haunt you in the fight. Yeah. Super impressive display by Moraru, sticking little knees Big to the knees. body. Yeah, He's really working the body. It burns this fight, making life miserable in this in these positions. And he's so uh, creative. Oh, he's a little drag and Burns hits the floor. Oh, he's, he's being really heavy on Burns here. This is great work from Moraru. That's a good show, Joe. He's making him feel that way and carry it every time he tries to escape. He's carrying Moraru on his back. And you know what, I've said this before, but sometimes you see fighters when their positions jump into the back and often losing it. Sometimes it's bet less is more. Yeah. And what you're seeing from Mariah here is being very patient, not diving to get the hooks in. He's yeah. just happy there to keep the body lock. He's not opening up for big shots. Keep burns down, short shots. He's doing it's great work, very patient. You know, so, yeah. you, know you wouldn't think this is like, you know, he's only had what, one pro fight. This is it, this is his debut. Oh, his yeah. debut, sorry. Apologies. And he's only fighting a year. Ah, it's crazy. Six, yeah. six Ami fights in the last year and uh, here we are he made his debut last April his amateur debut I, th I feel like he, he's running away with this round here Burns is going to need to get up here and make something happen yeah and, and if he managed to nick one of those first two rounds on the judges scorecards oh yeah it's really all to play for here it's been such a fascinating back and forth in a variety of positions both fighters bloodied up just holding, or sorry, Burns is back against the cage here, Mariah holding Burns up, doing these short shots, he's not getting Burns a second to relax, he's just on him, dragging him to the mat, rinse and repeat, excellent Real, pressure, uh, excellent top pressure, real good positional work, and those strikes are brutal, I mean they don't look like much, but when you're down there and you're tired, it's the third round, you're bloodied, you're beaten up, and they're just a nightmare. A great third round for Moreau. Big knees. The question now is, Big did knees. Burns win those first two rounds?
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to your judges' scorecards for a decision. Oh.